If you want to compare two identical videos, here is how to do it. Step one is to set up the software that's called video-compare. Then we're going to set up the virtual dub software if you don't already have it. We're going to trim the videos in virtual dub, and then we're going to compare them using the video compare software. So let's go grab that video compare software now. I'll put a link in the description, but if you do a search for video-compare, you'll find it at GitHub. And if you scroll down, you can find the link to the pre-compiled Windows 10 version. And if you scroll down just a bit, you'll see the zip file ready for download. All right, let's go ahead and click the folder. And here is the compressed file. We'll double click, see what's inside, and then we'll go ahead and open it. There's the exe file. Now, we need to do something that's going to save us a lot of time in the future. Uh, head to the uh, start search box and type run, and then type this into the box. T type shell colon send to. That'll open up the folder on your computer. Now let's go ahead and find that exe file. Let's just get these organized. Okay, let's go ahead and right click on it. And let's create a shortcut to that exe. And then let's drag that shortcut file over to the send to folder. So that part is done. And you'll see a little bit later why we did that and why that's a uh, super useful thing to do. It's going to save you a lot of time. Okay, so that was setting up video compare. Now let's set up the virtual dub software. If you don't already have virtual dub, uh, I would recommend getting the 1.9.11 version only because that's a good version for capturing. But in truth, you can use any version of Virtual Dub for this next step, including Virtual Dub 2, if that's what you have. So let's download it. Let's open that up, extract everything. And just to save some time, let's go ahead and move the Virtual Dub uh, exe file right to the, uh, the taskbar. Okay, so now we need to trim the videos. What, what do I mean by trim the videos? Well, let's say that you captured two uh, videos, let's say two identical videos that you want to compare. Uh, you need to start them. Eventually, when we do the video compare stuff, you need to start them at exactly the right moment um, so that they start at the same time as each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the first of my raw capture files. And what I want to capture is this toothpaste commercial. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to look for the start of the toothpaste commercial. All right, let's use this button here just to go frame by frame. And what we're going to do is go to the start of the commercial and then go back one frame. All right, so there's the start of the commercial. Let's take it back one frame and now let's start make that our, um, our start point. All right, now let's try to find the end of the commercial. Let's go back a bit. Let's use the, the button here. And there we go. We'll, we'll take it one, um, one frame of black and we'll set an endpoint. And we have to make sure that the, under the video uh, dropdown, we have to make sure this is set to direct stream copy. And for audio, we'll do the same. And then the next step is simply to go File, Save as AVI, give it a location, give it a name, and it will save it. Okay, so that's the first file. We'll do the same thing with the next file. And then we are ready to compare these. So how do we compare the two AVI files that we've just set up? Okay, so let's select both of them, right click, Go to send to, and we're going to press the video compare button that we set up earlier. You may get this uh, warning from Microsoft. Uh, okay, so here we go. On the left is uh, the first one. On the right is the second one. And you can move the line back and forth to see the difference between the files. You can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. And there are some other commands that you can do if you want to go full command line. But doing this way is the easiest way to do it, and you'll get a good sense of the difference between the files. Now, because it's reached the end of the video, we're sort of on a, on a freeze frame here. 
So it's a good opportunity to zoom in and zoom out, and you can have a look at the difference between, in this case, two VCRs that were playing the same VHS tape. That is how you can compare videos on your computer. Now, there's other methods, too, that involve looking at histograms and so on, but if you just want to get a, a visual sense of the difference between the two, you can use this method. It's very easy to do, as you can see, and you can do it for any AVI file that you've captured using the um, SD capture method. Uh, maybe you've used the Huff YUV or some other codec. This should work for those as well.